All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to talk about an incredibly fun topic with lots of applications that you can see on my channel as well. Namely, change of coordinates. How is it possible to go from one set of coordinates to the other one? So let me explain the setting. Suppose you start with the basis beta. Basis beta, just like this. Very nice and happy, and you have a vector x. Let me type it like this. So you have this vector x, and well, in beta, it has coordinates x beta. So there's no d beta about this. And then suppose you work with this and you're like, ah, I don't really like this coordinate system. What if you have a new and cooler coordinate system, gamma? Well, then the point x didn't really change. However, the coordinates change because, um, so if this is x and this is x, x will have new coordinates in gamma. So maybe something like that. x gamma. And the question is, is there an easy way of going from one coordinate system to the other? In other words, is there some kind of a machine or a matrix that will take x beta as an input and spit out x gamma without ever figuring out what x is? And it turns out there is. It's what's called the change of coordinates matrix. So it turns out there is something called a change of coordinate matrix, a change of coordinates matrix Q that takes x beta as an input and x gamma as an output. So what is the definition of the change of coordinates matrix? It's the matrix Q, which I like to write Q from beta to gamma with sort of the reverse arrow, if you want, is the matrix such that, the matrix such that the following holds such that if you input the old basis vector coordinates, x beta, and you apply that matrix to that vector, then you automatically get the new coordinates, x gamma. And by the way, how do you read this? Literally read it from right to left and follow the arrows. So beta beta changes to gamma gamma, and then we get a new gamma. And again, I want to emphasize the beautiful thing about this is at no point we will calculate x. And this is super relevant. Suppose you're a supermarket and you have a set of barcodes. So an apple is like one, two, three, a banana is four, six, seven or something. And suppose you're like, okay, we have this in our computer system, but a computer needs to update. Then the annoying way of doing it is just figure out which barcode is which item and then produce new barcodes for the same items. But this is even cooler. This machine changes directly from the old barcode to the new barcode without ever figuring out what the item is. Okay, so that's good. But the question is, what is how do we find a formula for this? And there's actually a very neat way of doing this, so, which I found. <laughs> so here's a derivation of the formula. And I forgot to say, well, beta and gamma, they're two bases of the same vector space V. So in particular, since beta, let's call it V1 up to Vn, is a basis of V, v And, well, x has its own old coordinates. It has the coordinates with respect to beta. So when x is in v, we know that x is a linear combo of those basis vectors. So let's say x1, v1, plus dot, 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 plus x and vn for some x1 up to xn, 
think real numbers or really whatever your field is. So think real or complex numbers. And before I continue, I would like to remind you what coordinates are. If you write x in terms of basis vectors, then coordinates are precisely those coefficients. So we already know that the coordinates of x with respect to beta are x1 up to xn. And let me do something Pavlovian. So uh, when you see this, I will say ding, ding, ding. And you will remind, it will remind you to use this. Okay? So just wait for the ding, ding, ding. Uh, all right, so those are the old coordinates. Now, what do we want? We want the new coordinates, x with respect to gamma. But no problem. Just take this equality and put the new coordinates on there. So in particular, x with respect to gamma, which is again the stuff we want to find, is this whole linear combo, x1, v1, plus dot, 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 plus x, n, v, n, with respect to gamma. But look, coordinates are linear, and those are just sums and constants. So this equals to x1, coordinate v1 with respect to gamma, plus dot, 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 plus x, n, coordinates of Vn with respect to gamma. And this is almost like a dot product, which we can actually write in terms of a matrix. So in particular, what this is, it's the product of the following matrix with columns V1 up to Vn times x1 dot 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 xn. And now remember, ding, 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 ding. This thing is precisely x beta. So we're left with v1 gamma dot 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 up to vn gamma times x beta. And look, that's precisely what we want. We want x gamma equals to some matrix times x beta. And this is precisely the matrix Q from beta to gamma. Because notice, it's just the same definition here. And there's just one matrix that converts it to this. Uh, so in particular, this is now our new definition of the change of coordinates matrix. What you do, you take the vectors in the old basis beta and evaluate it with respect to the new coordinates gamma. So here's our definition, and now we can do our, an example. Okay. All right, so definition. What is the change of coordinates matrix from an old basis to a new basis? Is again, you take the old vectors as an input and evaluate them with respect to the new coordinate system. So where theta equals V1 up to Vn. And again, I want to emphasize, you always take the old vectors and evaluate them with respect to the new coordinate system. And let me give you an analogy. Suppose you have a program, an old program, but now new operating systems. So two operating systems, one being the old one, think like Windows Vista, and the other one being the new one, being, you know, um, let's say uh, Windows 10 or something. Uh, I like Windows, but uh, basically Windows 10 would have no problem reading the old program. And that's really what it is. You take the old program as an input and evaluate it with respect to the new core, new operating system. On the other hand, the opposite wouldn't really work. You can't really take a new program and evaluate it with respect to Windows Vista. Vista would be like, what, what is that? I, I don't know what that is. But uh, Windows 10 would be like, okay, I know it's an old program, but I can still read it. All right, now let me give an example. So suppose again, for 
Just to make it easier, let's consider R2, but I want to emphasize it works for any abstract vector space that has finite dimension. And take the old basis, which is 2, 4, and 3, 1. So this is the basis you start working with, and suppose you don't really like this and you change it to the new basis, 1, 1, 1 minus which is kind of nicer because this is, you know, perpendicular, whereas the other one isn't. And the first question is, let's find a change of coordinates matrix. So find Q from beta to gamma. And again, what do you do? You take the old vectors and evaluate it with respect to the new coordinates. So first of all, let's do V1 with respect to gamma, which is 2, 4 with respect to gamma. Getting very romantic here, but uh, all right, good. Uh, and so what does that mean? It means that we have to take 2, 4 and express it in terms of 1, 1 and 1 minus 1. So in other words, you have to find A and B such that 2, 4 is A of 1, 1 plus B of 1 minus 1. And that's really A plus B and then A minus B. And all it says is find A and B such that A plus B is 2 and A minus B is 4. And this you can solve if you want using row reduction or your favorite uh, system of equation technique. And you should get A equals 3 and B equals minus 1. And indeed, 3 times 1 minus 1 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 minus 1 times minus 1 is 4. So this works, and therefore the coordinates are just 3 and 1. 3 and minus 1. And then you do the same spiel with uh, V2. So V2 are the coordinates of 3, 1 with respect to gamma, and you can check that it's 2, 1. Again, all, you'll just need to find A and B, such that 3, 1 is A times 1, 1, plus B times 1 minus 1. And if you solve it, you get A equals 2 and B equals 1. And therefore, to find a change of coordinates matrix, you just put both of them together. So what is Q? That is 3 minus 1 and 2, 1. And here's the thing, once you found the change of coordinates matrix, you're done. You never have to do this again. And now, whichever B coordinate I give you, you can easily find the C coordinate. So for example, find X gamma, and again, this should be from beta to gamma, and write this Q. Now let's find X gamma if X beta is 3, 2. And again, well, let's just use a formula. So x bit gamma is then simply the multiplication of x beta by this change of coordinates matrix. And so this is 3 minus 1, 2, 1 times 3, 2. And you get 13 times minus 1. And what does that mean? If we take the old vector with coordinates 3, 2, the new coordinates will be 13 minus 1. And look, at which did we ever count, figure out what x is? No, this is what's wonderful. Because sure, in theory, you could calculate x as 3 times the first vector plus 2 times the second vector, and then find the coordinates. But now this is much easier. You just apply this matrix and also the nice thing is from there you can also change coordinates back because if x gamma is q times x beta x beta is the inverse so q beta gamma inverse of x gamma in other words to change coordinates from gamma to beta you just reverse this Q, uh, beta to gamma inverse and so this way allows us to go very easily back and forth 
from coordinates to coordinates. And now we have done this for vectors. In the next video, I will tell you how to change coordinates with matrices. So change of matrix if you want. All right, I hope you like this extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.